Hey designers, this is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your websites. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into the video. So someone recently asked me in the comments if it's possible to turn the logo black and white when we scroll through the page. It need not be even a logo. It can be a logo, an image or anything and you can make that turn black and white when you scroll through your page. So it's something similar to this. So watch what happens to my logo this is actually an image and this is my logo watch what happens when i scroll through my page so they turn black and white so basically we are desaturating it i'll show you how to do this there are a lot of ways to achieve these effects but i'll show you some of the easiest ways using css so let's get into the video i've already taught you how to make this transparent sticky header that changes its background color on scroll in a previous video i'll leave a link to that video in the description in this video, we are specifically focused on changing the color. Well, it's quite easy. So this was the code that we had before. So all we need to do is to add a property called filter. Well, what exactly is a filter? It's like Photoshop effects, but for your web. So you can use CSS filters to achieve that black and white effect. Well, how do you do that? And what is the class to target? No matter if it's a logo or an image, the class that you need to target is selector elementor sticky fx space dot elementor image so what exactly is this class doing well when your header turns sticky this class is targeting that particular element so you can use the same logic to extend it to the logo as well so no matter if it's an image or a logo we'll first copy these two classes and we'll then we'll customize it so that we can apply the effects that we desire for our logo you can also inspect the class name from here. So right click inspect and here it is. So it's an elementor image. You can simply copy the elementor image class name, but it's resting within the whole container. So just give it a space dot paste the class name. So you don't need background color here. We'll remove this and even here we'll copy the class name and we'll remove all the properties from here so nothing happens right that's because we haven't added any code in between like i told you css filters are like photoshop effects but for your website so here's an article from mozilla that basically explains various filters so you can have a blur brightness drop shadow grayscale and a lot more but what I'm going to do is to desaturate these two images when the header turns sticky. That's, and that happens when the user scrolls through the page, right? So this is what I'm going to target. So I'll just add a property called filter. And in order to saturate it or in order to make it black and white, you need to saturate it, but give it a saturation value of 0%. So that's another way of saying, hey, take out all the colors in the image so when you do that and when you scroll over you can see this image turns black and white so all the color from this image is faded out when you desaturate the image and in order to make this effect look cool you need to add a neat little transition so here we'll not have any transition or any filter and we'll say we'll have a neat little transition of the property called filter and we'll have it within 0.4 seconds. So now when you scroll through, you'll get that needle smooth effect and both the logo or the image, whatever you have in your header turns black and white. So it basically gets desaturated. You can also mix it up with a lot of other properties. And there's another property called invert. So if you have a purely white color logo and if you want to make it black, well, you can do that. So you can say invert 100%. I have a logo made up of different colors. So you can see what effect that has on my logo. So white turns black, black turns white. Instead of using the invert filter or desaturating the image, there's other way of doing it. Well, it's simply by using the grayscale filter. So initially when the container is normal, we don't want any filter. 
so we'll add that need little transition and then we'll add a filter of grayscale which will basically remove all the colors and make it black and white so let's see what effect that has on our logo so watch what happens when I scroll through and you can see it achieves pretty much the same effect so it's almost like desaturating the image but it will make everything black and white so it also makes the header a bit more readable and here's the fun part so this is the entire code segment which is required for that color change effect so this is the only code that you need to copy but the rest of the code changes the background color and also the height so we actually added that code in the previous video itself make sure you check that out but here's the fun part you can do it the other way around so if you initially want the filter to be applied or initially if you want black and white logo and if you want the logo to spring into color when you scroll through you can do that simply just copy this here we'll leave the transition as is because either way we're just doing a transition and here we'll say I don't want any filter so I'll say filter none so watch what happens initially it's black and white and when I scroll through it will have all the colors or the actual colors that the logo has so it's so much fun and not just for the logo or the image you can do the same thing with the whole container let's actually do that so I'll say initially I don't want any color so initially I want to make everything grayscale so I want everything black and white so I'll just paste this into the regular container and then when we scroll through I just want all the filters to be removed so we'll do that in fact I can add the filter code in here so I'll say filter 0.4 seconds I can remove this transition because it's already in here and here I'll say filter none so initially we'll have our whole header black and white and when we start scrolling through everything turns into its actual color so we're basically removing the filter once the header turns sticky that's what it's doing so you can do a lot more with this and you don't need this if you're doing it for the whole container but if you want it just for the logo this is the code that you need to add so when the header turns sticky you're targeting the image saying just remove the filter and initially you're adding the grayscale filter so that's all you're doing so there are a lot of variations for this and CSS filters is a topic that I want to discuss in the future video but since this is highly requested I just made the video on this so I'll leave the code in the description and also a link to the previous video in which we made this whole container and the sticky header and finally there's another property that you can use to change the color of your logo so it's mix blend mode it's similar to photoshop's blend mode and filters are similar to photoshop filters and blend modes are similar to photoshop blend modes so you have various values you can pick one of them and copy that one into the sticky part so when the header turns sticky you'll see that effect and this may not be the one that you're looking for but again this changes the logo of the header that you're trying to achieve or it changes the header so this is all done by CSS and by your browser and it's supported by most modern browsers so you don't have to worry about the compatibility these effects just work and there are a few other ways using JavaScript in which you can replace this with another logo itself but it's not intuitive to do that this is the easiest way to do it just by applying a transition of a filter you can simply remove all the color and make the logo black and white and when you scroll back all the color is there I'll share the code in the description and also I'll leave a link to the previous video in the description down below make sure you check that out if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up I'll talk to you in the next video peace and that's it for now and hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you need anything else don't hesitate to ask i'm ready to help you
Catch you in the next video. Peace.